hey what's up you lovely people welcome to the channel what do we have today well we have Dan Watton which apparently it's a journalist that it's sort of anti-woke I know him only because of being attached to trying to smear Johnny Depp and being on the side of AH when this whole thing happened that he was uh, yeah he was just calling him the usual thing that the son was calling him now recently there are allegation coming, allegations coming from an ex-boyfriend and another dude which we reviewed both and uh, this is him I think yesterday going online talking about this so let's listen what he has to say and then we comment uh, but I've always promised you that this show has no spin and no bias and no censorship so I owe it to you to address this uh, as you probably don't know, hopefully you don't know, because you're not insane enough to pay attention to the cesspit of social media, these past few days I have been the target of a smear campaign by nefarious players with an axe to grind. Notably by an ex-partner who I was, and this is something I've never spoken about and it's very difficult to talk about publicly, but who I was previously abused by and who has been on a campaign to destroy my life. What? In the past, he has written to me confessing to being a, quote, psychopath. And I saw this firsthand when he threatened in writing to, quote, slit my throat. Okay, he's talking about this boyfriend right here, Dan, that shared an entire thread of him finding an um, a, a hard disk in his house where allegedly some stuff took place of basically asking for people without their consent of uh, video photography right here of an MSN conversation between the colleague's partner and someone called Martin Branding whereby an arrangement was indeed made to make the S tape in secret without his colleague knowledge in exchange for 500 quid I knew instantly that Martin Branding was then so anyway this is big because he's accusing the boyfriend the ex-boyfriend of being a psychopath and he was abused by him and this is the first time that he's revealing this you make of this what you want but the fact that he's actually uh, talking about this right uh, the fact that he's addressing this I have the sense that there is more to the story but anyway many years after we had broken up I have been forced to report his behavior and threats to police they are now investigating. He has created an untrue story about me and appears to have been working with an organization who are intent on closing down this channel, whose reporters include a convicted phone hacker. The Guardian has also reported it tonight. What a surprise. Other unspeakable slurs have been made by a convicted extortionist I have never even met, who has a long history of blackmailing gay men and was sent to jail for a number of years by a judge who said his behavior was quote compulsive and provided a high risk to the public. I, like all fallible human beings, have made errors of judgment in the past, but the criminal allegations being made against me are simply untrue. I would like nothing more than to address those spurious claims. I could actually spend the next two hours doing so, but on the advice of my lawyers, I cannot comment further. So that's quite interesting because, as you know, uh, th this is a person that when it was convenient to him just to believe the rumors, just to believe the allegations of a person, in this case H, had absolutely no problem in uh, taking the side uh, with her. And, and now that, uh, you know, he's been accused by multiple sources, uh, we have to believe that those are accusations are unfounded, right? So obviously reasonable people they give the benefit of the doubts right we cannot use the same metric that he used against jd but still now he should see her in his own medicine right he should see her in his own medicine of like oh wait a second why would this guy come out now right if you've been together so many years ago like more than 10 years ago or so now all of a sudden this guy decides to publish this thread but i have been thinking much over the past few days about the current state of social media where any allegation can be made in an attempt to get someone cancelled oh. but it is impossible to defend yourself against thousands of trolls <laughs> that 
That said, I am coming on air tonight with a lot of humility, too. Uh, I think being in the middle of this witch hunt has made me think a lot about the sort of journalist and broadcaster I aspire to be. Uh, sorry if I, I, like I said, I don't know too much about this journalist, but isn't him like going after people and gossiping and basically trashing them? One focused on the massive political threats facing this country, not on personal attacks. I mean, who doesn't have regrets? Should I be cancelled for them many years later? Or do you accept that I have learned and changed? Well, it depends what you're talking about, of those regrets, obviously. We don't know what you're talking about. Like, this seems that you're implying that you did something wrong. So you're actually confessing. The last few years, I've grown professionally and personally. And I've also found the meaning of true love after that truly toxic relationship with my ex that hurt me and damaged me. I've found happiness in my personal life uh, with my wonderful boyfriend who is here tonight, uh, my friends and family and my world. The toll that this has taken on their mental health, well, I mean, that is literally killing me to watch. There is a reason why I have, since day one on this show, had a segment called Uncancelled. Because I'll rush to judge before due process, thanks in my case to the mad ramblings of highly politicized Twitter trolls and revolting blogs that eschew basic journalistic standards, is destroying democracy. And that's why, by the way, I didn't say a word about Hugh Edwards. Not one word. No tweet was deleted by me, despite the misinformation and lies perpetuated by Carol Vorderman. I didn't know the facts, and I wasn't going to weigh in until I did. I do also note that there are dark forces out to try and take this brilliant channel down. Whether it's Nigel's bank account, which we're going to hear about from him soon, Patrick's Twitter, Jacob and Lee's ability to speak out, uh, Calvin, who is also here tonight, his right to have religious views, or Lawrence speaking out against the entertainment establishment. We have all found ourselves under attack. This is quite interesting. It's quite interesting. And the fact that he did an almost six minute segment on this means that there is some hit uh that uh, it's, got, it's bothering them it's bothering him so family here uh you have been with me since day one uh on what has been a life-changing experience for me and we have each other's back the way you have understood what's been happening these past few days and i've seen it i've seen your messages i've seen what you've had to say and that has meant the world to me nice i'm a polarizing figure and by speaking out in this way i am opening the gates of hell on my life. But social media has become a race to the bottom. Pylons are now the way to cancel a person. Our country is better than that. We must be. We must be. And that's why GB News exists. What we're trying to do here is something different. To give a voice to the long forgotten people of the United Kingdom. And a great man reminded me today, people don't follow you because you're right. They follow you because you're real. So thank you for your support and the support. You know, guys, this is quite interesting because he didn't seem to be so concerned about the rumors surrounding JD. And also after AH was, uh, you know, the trial finished and we know what happened. Uh, I, don't, I don't remember this person coming forward with an apology. So he's rallying the troops, he's rallying even the whole of Britain that probably supports him because he probably does also good things that they are leaning most likely against the woke culture. And I can understand that probably if I was to listen to some of those things that he does, I might even actually agree with him as well. But I don't think he's getting out of it, out, out of this very quickly because there are so many unanswered questions. The thing is that the truth at the end will always come out especially if he has receipts that he can prove what he just said before anyway guys please consider subscribing thank you for the support the more you watch the better leave a comment share the video on twitter i'm there as well i will be extremely grateful for that so help the algorithm work 
take care of yourself drink water at least two glass big ones like this all right like like imagine it was a pint 